Hi, uh, I'm Kim Gunelius, Managing Director of Vern Finland. Right, uh, so AI is a technology that from the data center perspective is requiring um, significantly more density. Now, uh, at the same time, it's also an exponential technology. So uh, the higher density means that uh, previously, um, maybe you had five kilowatt racks and for a megawatt, uh, you used 200 racks. Now, if you have 100 uh, kilowatt racks, you have 10 racks only. So what does this change mean uh, for the data center space? So uh, in addition to kind of moving fast ahead, the technology is exponential. So it kind of feeds, it needs more and more capacity. And at the same time, the overall requirement uh, for the data center is changing. So uh, the implication is that we're moving towards liquid cooling. And at the same time, uh, there are several different paths for that liquid cooling. So in this space that's moving fast and it's changing fast, how do you ensure that uh, the, the data center remains sustainable and optimally becomes more sustainable so that AI is actually part of the solution rather than the problem, if you will, with regard to the environment. So um, I think uh, the Greener Data Project uh, has pulled together the industry. It's kind of, I like the passion behind the project. So, so Jamie's really managed to build uh, kind of an ecosystem where, where people are brought together to think about different aspects of sustainability. And uh, when you write the book, you're kind of given more or less free reigns to talk about what things uh, you've been doing, what things you're, you're planning to do. And then uh, it's a great way to learn from other people. So that's, that's what I really like, the passion. Uh, that's definitely liquid cooling. So with the different types of uh, liquid cooling, you end up uh, with uh, different types of uh, data center solutions. And uh, some of these have different ways of exploring the, uh, sustainable environments, uh, especially like what I'm looking at in the Nordics, right? With the snow that you can see behind me. This is a cool environment. It works already well with uh, current data centers, but in the future, uh, when you require more and more power, uh, you, you really want to be in a place where you've got lots and lots of uh, green energy and the infrastructure to be able, for instance, to exploit uh, excess heat uh, in the district heating grid. So. Combining uh, liquid cooling in a data center pro provides more efficiency to be even more sustainable than we are at this time, while we can benefit from, from the expanding green energy and uh, utilize the cool environment. So, uh, so liquid cooling and what happens there and how we can integrate it with, uh, well, us de facto becoming an energy provider, if you will.